to Fortune's Landing. We're not going to the we're city. Going, we? We're going to Fortune's Landing first, but then we're going to the Amber City because we need to drop Moisey off. Okay, if he wants to stay, I suppose that would be okay. If you guys all trust him, then I suppose I do too. It is a good hat. He looks good on beads. <laughs> so, okay. He's even more adorable. <laughs> Look at him with his little top hat. He's so distinguished. He, he just needs a little waistcoat. <laughs> oh, he needs a waistcoat. <laughs> <laughs> the most beloved yeah. mascot within any session is a little dragon bear. <laughs> and with your with your offer, Zoin cheers happily, grabs his chest, shoves it on the back of the wagon, and then climbs in to sit on his sit on the chest. What's Mawenda think of this? Uh, Mawazi. Mawaza. Mawinda. Who the fuck's Mawinda? Mawazi is utterly baffled. This is weird. <laughs> Everyone just put Congratulations, you are now. You are now giving a lift to an interdimensional hat merchant. <laughs> Yay! Party bus! <laughs> it's just Moisey just like, oh, white people. <laughs> I mean, she's an albino Kawinda, so... Even she ain't this white. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Yeah, it doesn't take you much longer to reach Fortune's Landing. You're about three hours out. And General Crest's men are indeed waiting for you at the gate. As soon as they recognise who's pulling the cart, namely Rowan, Hi. they lower their weapons and one of them goes as a runner to find the general. And with that, they happily let you inside the settlement. Yay! But that being said, as soon as it's seen that you have Kawinda with you, especially a small bodyguard detail of Kawinda, the guards are definitely keeping an eye on you, shall we say. Let up! Shut the fuck out! Shut the fuck out! Let up, it's business. It doesn't take long before General Crest himself is running along towards you and just says, Ah, you're back. Hi. Uh, you have some of the lions with you, I see. Mm -hmm. They're called Kuinda. They're, sorry? They are called Kuinda. Kuinda, I see. Then have you reached an accord with the Kuinda? That's in progress. That's what we're here to talk about. He's politely waiting for an explanation. <laughs> I'm not the diplomat, sir. My right. roles would be shitty. Alright, you're up! <laughs> Bad man, do your job. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Imagine the look on his face when he notices. Oh <laughs> boy. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, basically, um, the reason that um, they've been attacking everybody is because uh, you are on their land without their permission. And uh, obviously that's not good, so we arranged it so that an ambassador could come here so that you could reach an agreement so that the Fortune's Landing can coexist with the Kuinda Act as and get pool. permission for the resources they are using. General Crest looks visibly relieved at this news. <laughs> Yay. Like, Excellent. So which one is okay. the ambassador, please? Uh, Shisa. Ma'am. <laughs> yeah, so you introduce Queen Ashisa to him. Yeah. And he pulls off a very gentlemanly bow. Like, he is immediately treating her as you would have seen people of his rank treat nobility back home. Yeah. He, he knows what to deal with at this point. He says, My Queen, I would like to humbly apologise for all of the trespasses against your people. They were unintentional, and I hope that we can reach an accord that will see us all living in peace together. Queen just kind of nods at this and lets Cobra translate. Actually, General Qu Crest does have a request. Yes, quest uh, request. Since you have proven, since he's proven himself to be trustworthy in aiding you, he would like Cobra to be the official translator for the proceedings. I mean, also, are you okay just... with this, Cobra? I promise they're not going to lock you up again. Uh, Cobra says that he's willing to. Yes. Okay. So, so we just get the shots out, <laughs> and I will pay for this service. Right. So, as it were, Koba has left the party for now. Yeah. As he's officially being attached to the negotiations. Yes. Well, I, I break him off sadly with a, a make believe handkerchief. So, <laughs> yeah. You're in Fortune's Landing. You seem to have resolved the Kalinda situation, at least to the point where they're talking to each other. And not outright killing each other. <laughs> what would everyone like to do? Oh, it's just this like, is a joke. I'd like to drink away my sorrows as one of my friends has left me. I had to go get a refill of my uh, hip flask for some proper whiskey. Yes. Okay, so you go into the tavern then. 
Uh, yeah, I, I, I also <laughs> search for a one-armed piano. <laughs> I just think so you're back. You, it's not long before you're back at your Vic Nest's tavern, the Golden Sunset. Oh! And he's quite pleased to see you all. Yeah, missed us. So, hey, I hear that we have you to thank for the fact that we're not all currently a, we're not all currently heads on spikes. Oh yeah, apparently this is the thankless job. Uh, it's uh, is. Pathfinders find themselves doing all kinds of things. The sheer number of times our Order's members claim to have saved the world. You'd think it's all we ever did. Still, you did a good job. How goes the mapping? It goes uh, well, hey. Um, progress is being made, definitely. Not as much as I'd perhaps like, but mm, there is a lot of this continent to explore, so. That there is, my friend. Um, he notices Araya's state and just kind of hisses between his teeth. Hey, hey. Put it there, pal. Eh? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking empty without it. Well, there's magic to restore that sort of thing. Mm. You shouldn't be without it forever. Got All to, right, then. We've got to sort it out first. Yeah, you need to give it a clean. Because it's currently got Kuoza in it. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, it's not I've never weird. heard of that, but then my speciality is alcohol. <laughs> so if you can't drink it, chances are I've never heard of it. I don't, I don't think you'd want to drink Kwasa. No, it looks rank. Mm. Might want to scrape it off. Mm. I don't think you can just drink well, it, to be honest. As always, like the golden sunset is here if you all need to rest. I'm not going to charge fellow pathfinders for meals or beds if I can provide them, so mm -hmm. wherever you go, I'll always be here for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's why you're in my so friend sad list. <laughs> this sound is so sad for I want to go check out the trader's stores, because I just remembered they have those. Yeah, yeah, you can go and check out. Is anyone else going to check out the trader's stores here? I guess I could help Zoin set up shop for a bit. Yeah, I might actually look for a weapon that can deal at least one bit of damage. Yeah. Yeah, I'd also like to look for uh, troll blood specifically. Okay, no problem. So, uh, da -da 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 -da, what am I going to get you to check for this? Appraise me? Yes, if you'd like... So it's really just a section of stores that are set up variously to sell things that the scavengers have found on the continent and stuff that's been brought in by the ships that are coming in at the docks. Because the rest of the fleet that was accompanying you has now arrived. Yay! Are they selling Amber Forth on a... Hmm? Are they selling Amber Forth on a row? They are still in the cellars. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lime, you can't find anyone selling alchemical supplies. Fuck. It's pretty easy though. So, oh wait, Araya hasn't rolled yet. Oh, hang on. Um, what am I rolling? A praise? Oh, a praise. I'd like to praise you. Praise the sun. Was that a fucking fat boy slim reference in 2017? You're goddamn right it was. So, so it doesn't take too long because it's very easy to find a stall that's selling weapons. Okay, great. Hey, Jim, check out my new weapon. <laughs> <laughs> weapon <of Jim. laughs> you, are, you can go with this, you can go with that, or you can go with us. <laughs> okay. Um, I just, I don't know what the damage values are, but I know I have like a minus one to strength, I think. Yes. Probably more, actually. Let me just double check. So is there anything that will put me, give me a strong enough roll, please? Any question. What's your decks like? Uh, my dex is plus one mod. My strength is minus two. I'll maybe use a ranged weapon? Okay, yeah. I, I search for a ranged weapon. Okay, so what they've got... You're specifically trying to find ranged weapons that can be used with one hand. So. Yeah. So basically a blow dart. It could be a slinger! A yes, blow dart, a rock. He's got a few <laughs> things that might help you out here. He is. He's got a sling, as mentioned. He also has... He does have some more um, so. interesting items for sale. Yeah. One of which is a... I, I can't a take a sling thing. because I can't load a sling with one yeah, hand. Yeah, I was going to oh, say. It can put a rock in your mouth. <laughs> you can get a pistol bow, which is a miniature pistol-sized crossbow. Oh. What about like a boomerang? Yeah, that seems really good. Uh, or he <laughs> even has, in the same vein of the the crude gunpowder weapons, he does have a very basic pistol he could sell you. Yeah, but that requires more of a drain on gunpowder, and that will mean that uh, Aiden dies. 
Is there anything like a dagger which does dex based damage? Uh, or a boomerang? <laughs> I mean, a boomerang is a martial weapon. What does that mean? Uh, it means you can't put my land down under. <laughs> it means you can use it without much training. Uh, no, uh, martial no. is the one you need training. Oh, martials need training, yeah. Simple my bad. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the one. I got them mixed up. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, he can offer you <clears> throwing <throat> darts, which do D4 damage. Also, <laughs> Makes sense for this very little drunk kid to also be a darts <laughs> player. Okay, so obviously it won't be good for this level, but next level you can get a new feat and you can get weapon finesse which uses your dex instead of your strength. Okay, so I should probably hold off for now. Okay. Is there anything like... I, I just... I just can't deal damage. I can it do one like spell. Weapon. Good idea. Just so you've got like a combination of stuff. You've got some daggers that are balanced for throwing that you can have. Yeah. Alright, fuck it. I'll take the throwing daggers. Okay, the throwing daggers oh, are... No championship darts. <laughs> they are two no gold dips. pieces each. So uh, I hope you uh, still have some of the homeland currency on you. I'm fairly you. certain I've still got like 140 gold. <laughs> but very little this expedition. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll take... I'll take... I'll take one. Okay. I'll take one throwing dagger. Which I'm probably going to use the tin opener. <laughs> He also has some throwing axes if you'd like those. If they're decks, I'll take them. Well, all ranged attacks are decks. The throwing axes are eight gold pieces each and do one d6 damage. They, they sound have a good. range of ten feet. They just sound good. Yeah, okay. Give me, give me four of them. Okay, four throwing axes. So that'll be 16, 32 gold pieces. Yep, plus the two for the dagger, 34. And if you like, I'm a big deal around here. For five gold off, I'll give you a signed thing back. He looks at you like you're mad. Yeah, well, you won't be the first. <laughs> yeah, you probably have more luck doing that at the Coinda camp. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you tried to buy weapons off of the warriors, you might have got somewhere better. Shit, should have thought about that. I was too busy getting tattooed. All right, whatever, so I'll take me four throwing axes and a throwing knife. And yes, uh, Aiden, you did hear correctly, they have black powder supplies here. Well, I'd well, be great if I had any money. I, I hereby, I hereby front foot uh, Aiden Amber Fourth Bill because he is a poor, consumpted wretch who needed my amazing help to slay the great evil that, that plagues the heart of this continent. <laughs> I'm just imagining. Uh, Aiden I mean, water, right? apparently, according to everyone, I wasn't there. The bullet just magically appeared in his skull. <laughs> well, that's some top tier diplomacy right there. I mean, he, he managed to talk well, him to death, quite literally. And negotiated a bullet to be flying through the air <laughs> at that exact point. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, this is what happens when there's the PR guy and the guy that the people you're working for don't like. <laughs> and the IT guy. Basically, yeah, I feel like an IT guy. You feel like someone who's not working in the marketing department of Apple. I mean, anyway... I mean, the Necromancer's just... failed at turning it off and on again. I just <laughs> fucking funded your gunpowder. Fuck me, calm down. You're Thank moldy you, shit. Never. Ain't got no fucking yeah, shit. Uh, bullets. He'll sell you a bullet at a gold piece each. And he'll sell you black powder at uh, ten gold pieces a dose. Ooh. Hefty. I need to be right back. Can I, can I not just, like, buy the materials to make my own? Uh, he, says, he says, "Don't get, don't give me that. I wouldn't make a profit." <laughs> I ship this stuff all the Sorry. way from the continent. I'm getting a fair price short. Can I like try and negotiate? Can I assist in negotiating the price down? Come on, where, where, where's bartering? I'm sure, it's yeah, a thing. Um, no, yeah. it's... I can enhance diplomacy. Yeah, I mean, you can try and barter if you'd like. <laughs> what's, what's the barter skill? <laughs> Is it diplomacy? Because I can enhance diplomacy. Uh, there it, diplomacy might be able to do it. <clears throat> oh, and he's an Absalom native if he's coming from over that way. Yes, he is an Absalom native. <laughs> yum, 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 yeah. Bonuses. Delicious. Yeah, diplomacy would do the trick. Okay, if you want to uh, enhance diplomacy on me and I'll see if I can get a... Yeah, sure. Go on. Uh, give, give us a dose. All right, then. So I say, you got this. <laughs> uh, it's a plus two. Plus two. Nice. Both good checks. Um, this man fucking gives me his stall. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it's all very well. Like, you've rolled well. You have rolled well. 
but please tell me what argument you are making for a lower price. Listen, mate, <clears throat> we're all stuck here together. If we don't get out there and stop this Coinda from advancing any further, you ain't going to have a store now, are you? Now, I'm pretty sure you can try selling them your gunpowder, but it ain't going to work out. So how about you cut us a bit of slack and give us 25% off? What do you say? It's a strong argument. It's either give us cheap munitions or die. Give us cheap munitions or be sold off to the other parts of the continent. He, he's kind of iffy about this logic, but... He's <laughs> I mean, he's more than welcome to wait for the Coinda to come and invent guns. <laughs> <laughs> or for you to give him, like you fucking promised him at some point. <laughs> he doesn't know that, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he's willing to go down to seven and a half gold pieces a dose on the black powder. Do you show some bullets, Jim? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we can have our resident alchemist whip up some black powder. I'll take a few bullets. Yeah, right. yeah. Give me, give me a handful, like five or ten or something. Given the bargaining, he's prepared to give you uh, ten bullets for eight gold pieces. Is that good with you, Raya? Yeah, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I can't spend anything here anyway. <laughs> Calls himself a weapon shop, doesn't even have weapons. Prick. <laughs> anyway, that's under my breath. Uh, he's made his point that these are goods that he shipped all the way from the homeland. Yeah, and there'll be goods that'll probably get tossed into the sea and ransacked when he gets uh, overrun, but that ain't my business. <laughs> Whatever. Sips tea. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm going to stop being so aggressive to this nice man, and I'm going to walk away. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, remind me if my maths is right. That puts me to about 20 bullets. Yes, Roundabout, is. yeah. Sweet. <clears throat> Although, at the moment, I've only got powder for 10. Yeah, yeah like... Black powder that's been shipped all the way from home ain't cheap. It, you got yeah, you, you got to transport costs, man. Amazon's gonna fucking snow this guy under when it gets to this continent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll be in the Amazon. When P and P is a six month sea voyage. Uh, no, uh, legit. Uh, is anyone else searching the uh, Fortune's Landing market for anything? I'm not searching for anything in particular. I have a grand total of nine gold. So, no. Uh, uh, one question. For the day. Yes. In my search for alchemy stuff, would I have passed the guy with the gunpowder? Yes, you would have. Alright. I would like to procure one dose because I have exactly ten gold. Yes. One dose of gunpowder. Is this yeah. for experiments? No, it's for obviously blowing everything the fuck up. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he cheerfully sells you the dose and he has the look on his face like he's. He's like. <laughs> you just. Ah, <laughs> sucker! <laughs> Like a, and that's when he realised he sold it to an alchemist. Uh, oh. Zoing has had a look around, but he's not willing to set up here because there's not enough. Okay. That's fine. He has, however, temporarily set up and sold a couple of hats, but he's quickly like, got hmm. bored and packed himself back up. Although one of the uh, small, one of the younger men working the docks looks about fifteen, does for some reason appear to have acquired a bright red bowler hat. <laughs> nice. So, has anyone else got anything they want to do in town? Does anyone need the list of potential locations in Fortune's Landing again? I have for the nearest alchemy lab. Good job, there isn't one. <laughs> you yeah, are now the alchemy uh, lab. Anywhere where I can set up any kind of alchemy work, I will take, uh, which is probably going to be the tavern. Your Vic is willing to let you set up temporarily in his basement in the tavern. I will, so I can take it. Um, I have a request. I would like to go to the edge of town and to see how bad the destruction is of all of the ripping up of the trees to expand the town. I just want to make sure that things are being done in a nice natural way. Do your druidy yeah. duty. Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's so you head to the edge of town and you can clearly see that like there's sparse tree growth. You're on the Savannah coastline here. So you can see that there's stumps a fair bit of the way where uh, trees got cut down to make the outer barrier wall. But could you give me a perception check, please? Like, this is for us saying the level of damage. Or you could try knowledge nature if you prefer. 24, not bad. Not bad. 24. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can see that they've clearly cut down pretty much every tree they could find, but they've left the stumps. They clearly haven't been, like, strip mining the area for resources. And in one or two places, you can see freshly planted saplings. Ah. Oh. Okay. I'm happy. Like, it's not perfect, but it's they're good not enough. being bastards about it. So it's no, they're trying. That's fine. Okay. You can also see that there's already appears to be the first sign of a farm attempting to be built outside the settlement's borders. That's good. 
Cool. You're just making sure you didn't back the wrong horse here from a druid. That's true. Yeah. That's fair. You're doing what a druid has to do. And chat to some of the saplings. So chat nice, have nice chats with the saplings so that they grow big. <laughs> Speak with plants. Yeah. Well, it's like a theory that, that actually works. Bro? Right. Has anyone not done anything in town that they want to do? So where is everyone going from here? Like, what's the party's next goal? Amber City. So, as you remember, the Amber City is about eight hours on the road from here. So, are we using that as a staging point to go explore somewhere else then? Well, we did need to find somebody. We needed to find an Agent Swan or something. Do you remember that? Yeah, Agent Swan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Jorvik did mention that she'd probably be able to tell you more about the continent than he could because she's uh, the Pathfinder's agent in the big city. Okay. And I feel like we all forgot that last time we were there, because yeah, it's such yeah. a cool place. So I think we should go back and yeah. probably try and do that. But I don't know, it's up to you guys. Oh, it sounds like a better plan than wander aimlessly while mapping. Mm -hmm. I miss Colbo. Okay, so in the time it'll take you to get there, you'll be arrived, if you leave now, you'll arrive at the city at about... 10 o'clock at night. And that's if the traffic's good on the M6, otherwise we're there all day. It's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> we both still laugh at the same frequency as well. We hit that pitch, yeah. And at this time of year in Kirin Yaga, the sun goes down at about half past nine. Okay, so I'll sit on the front for the last half hour with my night vision then. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Yeah, I'll stay awake and alert as well since I have dark vision or low light vision. I'm going to pat the beans, because he hasn't been pet yet. Mind his heart. That's yeah. true. Yep. I'll give him squitches behind his cheeks. You shall temporarily take over the beans petting privilege. And incidentally, looking at beans now that he's had... He wasn't too happy about the hat at first, in the way that animals aren't. But after he's been chewing at the brim slightly and messing with it, he's managed to get it lodged on his head, and you can see the tips of both of his horns kind of jutting slightly through the back of the hat, where he seems to have got it stuck. Oh, well I can cut little holes in it so that his horns can come out. I didn't want to like make him like, hurt him. Just yeah. sort of hurt it. It's just kind of wedged on the horns. Okay, I'm going to spend some of the time while we're, while we're travelling then. And I'm just going to cut little holes in the hat for his horns. You want to so use, use one of my knives to sort of carve them out? Yeah. Well, um, about two hours into the trip, Mawazi looks like she wants to kill Zoin badly. Oh, because, oh yeah. Because uh, Zoin has been asking at roughly half hour intervals, would you like a hat now? Ever Zoin. since he joined the convoy. Zoin, Zoin, you can ask for offering hats when we get to the next thing. Not, ev not everyone in the world wants hats. Yes, they do. How do you know? He, he points to Mawazi and goes, she have no hat. She, she want she... hat. She have no hat. She want hat. Zoin have hats. Where's your no one hat? Uh, do you want to roll diplomacy <laughs> to try and talk some? It's going to be back and forth of no hat. Just because he's been winding me up as well, I'm, also, I'm going to cast diplo enhanced diplomacy on this check because I want him to just shut up. Seven. <laughs> Correct. So that's a plus two. So that'd be nine. It's that'd be nine. a natural one, though. Okay. Should I roll again and see how bad of a fail that is? <laughs> Basically, he sells you a hat. <laughs> <laughs> It just hits me in the face with a hat. He is, he actually looks kind of upset by your attempts to destroy his modus operandi of life. This, I live, therefore everyone wants a hat. And he just kind of sits on the edge of his chest and sulks. No. Oh. How long is that going to last? Uh, it, la it seems to be lasting for now. You can hear occasional swearing and muttering. Oh, what we can assume hat. is swearing. No, no, it's swearing in your language. Ah. He wants you to understand. <laughs> Just the occasional fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so I so I go to the back and entertain him by stacking hats on my head. <laughs> well, since you're doing another long distance travel, guess what time it is? It's the encounter table time. Rolling it. You want to roll? We're all dead. You're not Squirrels. Dead, Nuke, randomly, from the sky. Rock and roll, we all know. <laughs> Not quite, but the wagon stops rolling. Ah, it's one of the wheels. Yeah, Rowan's just walking along, and suddenly the wagon hitches on something. Everyone falls out the front. Ew. I'm sorry. I swear to God, if it's Zong's younger brother, Zong doesn't have brothers, as far as I know. 
As far as you know. You would have said otherwise the last time we saw it. Well, let's hop out and see what we... Uh, oh, do, uh, do, do, do I not get to see anything, or...? Uh, I don't know, what are you? I was sat on the top looking out, wasn't I? Yeah, you were. Uh, yeah, you were, and the, something, and you something fell just off. thudded into the wheels, and the front two wheels won't move. You fall off. We fall think off. that's an alternate strategy. <laughs> <laughs> It's an old play. So yeah, there there seems to be like pothole is too minor a word. The wheels are sunk down as far as the front axles will let them go. I rolled deception oh. to figure out how the fuck I didn't notice this. I double check we've not accidentally driven to Blackburn. Rowan, you know for a fact that you walked over that ground less than ten seconds ago, and that ditch was not there. Oh, oh dear. It's a top. <laughs> Uh, in fact, you rolled a 21, which is a good perception. Yes. You're not... Are you wearing shoes at the moment? Yes. Oh, yeah, because you got forced made shoes. Because even through your shoes, you can feel something rumbling under the soil. Run. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, shit. It's <clears> snakes. <throat> it's a sandworm. The spice must flow. I throw the paprika. I pull the wagon out of the wheel. Do I need to roll a strength check for yes, that? Yes, roll a strength check to try and get it out of there. It won't get off, so Fucking it Fucking shyhood. Yeah, let's all get off, so that's easier. Okay. Don't yep. Boing. 13. Fucking oh. 12. You pull, but the wheels are Yum. still pretty deep down in the ground. Just pulling from the spoke isn't going to do much, right? We're going to get under the lift. system push from the back? You can try. I think it's more of a case of lift. Mm -hmm. uh, does anyone want to roll a perception at this point? I'm gonna try. I probably should. Uh, I'd be a bad lookout if I didn't constantly look out. Oh, that's oh, that's a good one. That's okay, so meh. Aiden and Lyle. You Rowan doesn't notice, but no. yet I'm Oz, too busy trying to pull the wagon out. Uh, Taylor notices, so the three of you notice that as soon as you all get out of the cart and start running around, the level of underground rumbling increase increases much. Oh God. Oh, fuck. Everyone stay very still and see The Rose Rock falls. But it was the opposite. Like, moles rise, everyone dies. <laughs> but yeah, the ground is just getting shakier the more you all run around and try and shift the wagon. What do we do? if we just all stay still? Well, we, we can't stay here forever. No. Can I roll another strength check to try again? Uh, we, we've already established that from where you're standing at the end of the spoke, you don't really have the leverage to get the wheels out of the gutter. Okay, do you want me to lead this thing away if you guys tie a rope to me and then pull me back? <laughs> I should have kept your soggy end of the arm to like use for this. Oh, to, I already made that into haunch, I'm sorry. I don't know what <laughs> uh, got fetched. At this moment. Uh, I would like to see if I can lift the side of the wagon just enough to get the wheel a little bit up of that hole. Uh, give the strength go, then. This wagon still does have your moving supplies on it. Yeah. Should we all try no. and lift? Because maybe a collective might help. Uh, seven uh, is yeah. good to get in there. Yeah, yeah, I think we should all assist. Please don't make me roll strength. Ooh, 17. Roll my strength, boy. Hurry! No. <laughs> no, we've we all got it. No. So, what we have here... I, is... I mean, I crit. <laughs> <laughs> What up? I mean, it's simply <laughs> the president of the grids, you are, are able to, like, shift. Between all of you trying, the it does shift upwards somewhat. A shot put the fucking work. <laughs> and then we yell for At this point. Here we go. We. Uh, who, so who's look like who's working on the front two wheels? I'm front. I'm working at the front. I mean, me. Yeah, I am. I'm on me, technically, I guess. Everyone who is currently close enough to the front left wheel, please roll me an acrobatics check. Would that include me? Yeah. I'm on no, the right no. side. No. If it's front left wheel, then it's just uh, Ethereal. Yeah. 13. That does not do it. Damn it. See ya. Ethereal, the ground beneath you collapses. Whee! Can and I get reflexes? None of the rest to... of you can see Ethereal anymore. 